Welcome to part four of the 2016-2017 SHSAT walkthrough. This is Math Form B. Today we're doing questions 81 through 90. If you haven't already, please subscribe so you can see the newest videos right when they come out. Also, if somehow you made it this far and you do not have a copy of this test in front of you, please look in the description of this video below. Click the link. It'll take you to my website where you can download or print this test for free. Do it now. All right. Let's get started with number 81. We're talking about an oil drum. Let's see here. It is 4,320 liters when it's full. Currently, it's one third of the way full. How many kiloliters of oil need to be added to fill the drum completely? So we need to figure out what is two thirds of 4,320. 4,320 times two thirds is 2,880. All right, however, they want it in kiloliters, so we need to move the decimal once, twice, and three times for an answer of 2.88, which is what? B. Okay, number 82, we have to find a whole bunch of midpoints. All right, so we're going to start with point D, which is the midpoint of what? Uh, a and B. All right? So we've got negative 8 plus 3 divided by 2, which is going to equal 5 over 2. Okay, next is the midpoint E, which is between what? B and C. So we're going to have 3 plus 7 divided by 2, which equals 5. Okay, so now we need to find the midpoint of these two midpoints. Yeah, it's a lot of midpoints. So we're going to end up with, I'm sorry, this is negative, uh, 5 minus 2.5, which is 2.5. 2.5 divided by 2 is 1 and 1 fourth, which equals 1.25, which is answer G. Okay. Number 83. So we've got an insect that is 75 milligrams. What is it in grams? So that just means we need to move the decimal point three times to change it by a thousand. One, two, three, decimal, zero, zero point zero seven five, which is A. Okay, number 84. We got a box of marbles. All right, what do we have? We have seven red and we have what? four green. Okay, for a total of 11. All right, so what are we trying to find? Uh, how many red marbles were removed? If we take out five marbles and it's a 50% ratio. Okay, of what? Green marble. So green marble was four out of 11. So now it has to equal one half, okay? So we took away five marbles. We're gonna end up with something over six. So we have to end up, this is gonna equal one half, right? has to be three. So we took out one green, which means we had to take out how many red? Four, correct. Five minus one is four red. Okay, hopefully that is, yeah, J. Okay, let's erase this, and we're gonna move up to number, what, 85? A water tank is one third full, then they had 21 gallons and it's four fifths full. So from that, we know that four-fifths minus one-third of the tank is going to equal 21. Yeah? So let's see here. That's going to be 12 minus 5. Seven-fifteenths of the tank is equal to 21. So if we want to find what one-fifth or one-fifteenth of the tank is, we just divide by 7. So we're going to end up with what? 3. 3 equals one-fifteenth. 15 times 3 is 45. Okay, that is answer uh, B. <clears throat> Number 86. We have a pattern here. All right, so what is the pattern? Um, so if it's an even number, you just divide by 2. If it's an odd number, um, it's the same as the even. So you just add 1 and divide by 2. Okay, so we have an odd number, which is 111, 
So we're just going to add 1 to get 112 divided by 2, which equals 56. Okay. 87. All right, there's going to be some math here. Uh, four chefs at 68, eight chefs at 47. We need to find the mean. Okay. <coughs> All right. So I'm going to get rid of some of these zeros, right? So we're just going to do four times 68, right? And then we're going to do what? Um, eight times 47. Okay. And we'll change it back to thousands later, but for simplicity's sake, let's just do it this way. All right, 4 times 68 is 272, and 8 times 47 is 376. Add these up. 8, 4, 648. Okay? So we have 12 people, so we just need to divide this by 12, and that's going to give us 54. Now we can bring back in our zeros, and we have 54,000, which is answer B. Okay, makes sense? Just a little bit easier not to deal with all those zeros. Number 88. On the first leg of the trip, we went 900 miles in two hours, which is 450 miles per hour. And then we did 1400 divided by 2.5. It's going to equal, huh? Uh, 1400 divided by 2.5 is going to equal 560. Find the difference between these two is 110, which is F. Okay, 89, we have a, ugh, a trapezoidal sphere, whatever, prism. Uh, let's not do that. Let's take this piece here. Uh, let's get out our pink. I'm going to take this section, and we're going to move it to here. Okay? So now we have just a regular um, rectangular prism. Okay? It's six high. We know it's 4 plus 2 is 6 wide, and it's something D, equals 216, right? So 6 times 6 is 36, times D equals 216. 216 divided by 36 is uh, 6. So the depth is 6 again. So it's 6 by 6 by 6. Okay, just put it in a shape you can work with. I like rectangular prisms. Last one, number 90. Uh, Tom is one-fourth of Jordan's age right now. Okay, now, and then we have two years, right? And we have who? Tom and Jordan. So if Jordan is four, Tom would be one, and then two years he'd be six, and he would be three. Does this equal one? This has to equal one-third. Uh, no, it does not. Okay. Let's try number two. Six. That doesn't even, you can't even take one fourth of six. So that doesn't work. Twelve. One fourth is three. So now we're going to have five and fourteen. That is not one third. Okay. Hopefully one of these works out here. Uh, Sixteen. Let's see, one fourth would be four. And then we'd have six and eighteen. That is equal to one third, right? Six times three is eighteen. There's our answer. Sixteen. Okay, hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Please check back in for part five, and good luck on the test.